please leave a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. If you need to speak to somebody right now, press zero and ask to speak with my secretary, Susie. Thank you. Please hold. Someone will be with you shortly. Beswick. I was calling first for Lisa Morrison, second for Susan Ellis. Um, I am dealing with the issue of a runaway that's 15 and a half years old that has run from Colorado City to try to escape what could be a potential future polygamous marriage. Um, I'm trying to find out the legal ramifications of trying to get her emancipated and to get a protective order so that she doesn't have to get forced to go back to the community up there on the hill. Uh, she's related to a girl that was emancipated and taken out up in uh, uh, northern Utah right now, which is now in a foster home with a police officer up in uh, Murray area. And uh, anyway, I need to get the uh, legal information about what route to take because technically she's right now in Utah, but uh, she, her family lives in Arizona on the Colorado City side. Um, <clears throat> anyway, my number is uh, 435 area code 6354075. Thank you. Scott Sholmes. Uh, we have a runaway from Colorado City. She's underage. We're trying to figure out what the process is to have her emancipated and get a protective order for her. It's complicated because of the border crossing between Utah and, um, and Arizona. Um, I've been trying to reach the state attorney's offices in both Utah and Arizona, but everybody's kind of out to lunch today, so um, I'm just trying to um, dot the I's, cross the T's, and find out how to do this legally. It's been done before, but we're trying to get uh, people that would have the legal information on that. Thank you. Oh, I'm at 635-4075. Uh, um, Thank you. Sunday meeting, April 1996, Truman Barlow. We meet to worship the Lord and carry out the word and will of Uncle Rulon. It is a privilege to do what he asks us to do. Surely it is for our own blessing. Sam Barlow. This is a vexation lawsuit. Our enemies pressed forth with untrue versus truth from those we wanted to testify. Every time government money is spent to persecute the prophets of God in this last dispensation, it has been justified by the idea they are needed to rescue women and children who do not defend themselves against the powerful influence of a patriarchal authority. We do live in a patriarchal society. We believe, believe in a patriarchal law. It's the law of the Father and there's nothing in our belief that means that a father should be authoritarian in his nature or demeanor, but he should take the authority 
and the responsible and be responsible for what happens. In the eyes of God, we will be held responsible, and because we take that position, it is represented that we subordinate women and relegate them to a lesser position and misuse them in or in some way repress them. They include children with that and thereby justify the complaint with law enforcement and bring persecution upon us. In the, in the late 1940s, there were four or five disgruntled men and ever so many women. John Y. Barlow tried to stabilize the work of God and gather a people. I think it is very important for our women to be happy and to radiate happiness. It's the responsibility of the men to help them do so, to lead them into doing so. If someone's not happy, I want it clearly understood it's because of their own doing and not a fault in the gospel plan or in the structure of authority that the Lord has organized whereby we can become like he is. Section 121, Doctrine and Covenants, Guidelines for a Man and Guiding His Family. I'm convinced that a woman has a soul to save. She is an individual in the eyes of God. She is responsible for her own probation. If a man gets out of line and is not capable of leading her to salvation, then she has the responsibility of doing something about her salvation and that of her family. Quote from a book, False and Delusive Spirits to the Wives. Every dear wife should look with a zealous eye towards the happiness and welfare of her dear husband. If she is tempted to think he is doing wrong, she will say, Get thee behind me, Satan. That is, not, that is none of my business. I will do right, and that is enough for me. I shall have peace in my soul. While with him, keep jealousy out. If you don't, you will have hell within the devil's, and the devil's enough to carry it on. Mention article Gentle Giant, a lecture on spouse abuse. One thing worse than a man abusing his wife is that he uses religion to justify it. Honor those men in the high priesthood. Truman Barlow. If President Jeffs were here, he would say, keep sweet. I doubt these abuse troubles would happen if the father keeps sweet. Ron Rogan.